Hi everyone, welcome to H&R Reptiles. My name is Ashton Riley and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you the leopard gecko tank because I just recently like completely changed everything that was inside of it. I think I, keep, I kept like two things that was originally inside the tank, but I completely um, reorganized it and redid everything. And I noticed that it is, um, I put Zeke in there with the girls about a month ago and I never gave you guys an update on that to tell you how um, they were all doing together so I'm going to do that in this video so let's just jump right into the video shall we okay so this is how we decided to set up the cage this time um we switched out their old um repta carpet with some eco earth because it's starting to get closer to winter and I noticed that they like the eco earth whenever it gets colder. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, Louise. Um, okay, so first we got their Mayan temple in there because that's our favorite part about what their tank is. This one fits quite a few um, geckos in there. Um, we have another wooden hide um, up here. It's like a little half a log. And then we got another little hide right there. That one was inside of Zeke's first um, cage that he got. And see, the geckos have been getting along amazingly ever since um, we put in the new little guy. So we have no worries about them at all. And then um, over here, I put in a little bit of greenery. We're actually going to be trying to find more. Then we got them a better water dish, their food dish. Um, this was from their last tank. Um, they just seemed to really like it, so we decided to put it in. Now, for the newest feature, you know, is this thing right here. Now, we got the hammock up there because I know a lot of, like, bearded dragons really like the hammock. So do leopard geckos. Um, we had to secure it pretty good. We buried and secured the last um, tie-down post underneath the tank completely. There's little Miss Millie. I mean Louise. That's Millie over there. My bad. But Oh, and we also um, switched their heating. They also ha they have their heating pad, but... It just gets so cold here. We also have um, a little ceramic heat emitter and then something that gives them the calcium and stuff that they need. They just need a little bit of extra warmth. It gets pretty cold in Washington. I don't know if you guys know. It's Washington State, not D.C. It gets really cold here. So to be able to keep these guys at a temperature where they're not going to be freezing to death, we have to... You know, do the extra things of heat, the, the heating pad, ceramic heat bulb. And because they're not going to be getting a lot of sun in, in the winter, that's why we have the one that gives them the calcium and stuff they need from the sun. It's like um the sun rays. This little girl's over here. I just changed their tank around, like I said in the beginning of the video. So they're getting used to it. My more shy leopard geckos. Um, Tina, she's hiding because um, she is in shed. I actually got the most like crazy little piece of shed off of her. It was inside the tank whenever I went to look. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's legitly her head. Eyeball. Eyeball. Then her little nose pieces. Then if you flip it upside down, you can kind of see her little lip marks. I just thought it was really cool, so I wanted to show you guys. You know, leopard gecko sh um, shed a lot differently than what, like, snakes do. Usually they'll eat their shed, so you won't even see it. So it was pretty cool that um, she didn't, and I was actually able to see this awesome piece of shed. But, and like I said, all of the little babies are getting along just fine. Zeke has completely took in over the dominant role. He really loves the fact that he has three girlfriends. I actually don't know where Zeke is at the moment. I think he's in there with Tina. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure he's in there with Tina. He's either in that one or in that one. 
But yeah, the leopard geckos have been loving their new cage, loving their new setup. And it just looks aesthetically more pleasing. I want to get a lot more plants in here to give it a lot more of like a green look. You know, because I want it to simulate a natural forest as much as possible. That's what I try to do whenever I decorate my um, get um, lizard cages and my snake cages. Is try to make it as green as possible just to make it resemble like where their natural habitat would be with these guys it's kind of more dry but they do have some greenery in their natural habitat so yeah that's why we need to put some more greenery in it i think i'm only going to put like greenery over on the cold side not on the warm side but yeah these little guys are just amazing and i really love that everyone's getting along I hope everyone enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe because we post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Bye, everyone.